Colorful Africa is the world's second largest and second most populous continent. Africa is considered by most scientists to be the place where the first humans began to walk the earth around 200,000 years ago. Let's take a little journey across the Great Atlantic Ocean to take a look at Africa's most celebrated art form. The mysterious African mask in all its glory. Ritual and ceremonial masks are an essential feature of the traditional culture and art of the peoples of Western and Sub-Saharan Africa. In most cases, mask making is an art that is passed on from father to son. Special status is given to those that wear the masks in ceremonies. Masks are a part of most traditional African ceremonies like dances. Masks are also used in parades and festivals. Animals like zebras, water buffalo, and giraffes are common subjects in African masks. The people of Burkina Faso dance in hawk masks. The wings of the masks are decorated with geometric patterns, celebrating life and happiness. Here, two men from Mali are dressed up as colorful antelope with huge horns as they dance to bring forth successful crops to feed their village. Masks don't always represent animals. Sometimes they represent attitudes and emotions. Masks from the Ivory Coast have their eyes half closed, symbolizing a peaceful attitude, self-control, and patience. In Sierra Leone, small eyes and a small mouth represent humility and a wide protruding forehead represent wisdom. Masks are the part of Africa that have greatly influenced European and Western art. The Broadway production of The Lion King introduced the African mask to a large international audience. By far, the most impressive masks are worn by the lions. The lion's masks are so detailed that the actors seem like real lions in action. Do you think the costumes would be as wonderful without the masks? The artists who made the masks for The Lion King used the same techniques used by the mask makers in Africa. Created using Powtoon.